Hello, 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 and welcome from Vietnam. I'm not in Thailand anymore, changed locations, and now I'm in Vietnam. And also my lifestyle changed a little bit because I decided to stay here in hotels for a while because um, yeah, in Thailand I had the apartment, everything was good, I did my cooking and stuff, but now I wanted to have something else. This is why I will stay in hotels this time and I am in Da Nang. So guys, right now I'm still in my first hotel that I booked and let me demonstrate you the city view that I have here. And uh, this is the beautiful view from my window and you can see, um, yeah, this is pretty much what I got when I booked the room. So it's kind of a joke, I do not really have a window. It's more like sitting in the basement here. But I mean, you gotta work with what you get and I will only stay here for a total of five nights. Um, but the rest in this hotel is very good. I have the breakfast, which is great. There's a pool on the top. There's the gym that I use. Now I'm going for some work. So you can see here, somewhere in the back. I have my backpack on, I will go to a cafe because I usually do not work in the hotel here. Sometimes I do in the restaurant, but usually I go to a cafe, get a coffee or something or some easy food and then I do some light work in the cafe. in the hotel right now chilling at the rooftop here uh, weather is great but I of course have to sit below the umbrella because I am an endangered species here in the warm countries because of the light skin I just caught a sunburn yesterday so I have to be especially carefully today so in the last few seconds you saw me wor working in the cafe then I went to grab some food had this noodle soup and was accompanied by this very cute small doggo there I went back to the hotel and enjoy the view here so you can see here on the on the on the rooftop of this hotel i really have a nice view over the city of um, danang and yeah we'll spend some time here i will not um, do too much ah, crazy stuff now in the in the afternoon maybe i will just read a book maybe jump into the pool for some refreshment but yeah today will be a slow afternoon and then we have some some plans later in the evening some friends uh, will go to a brazilian barbecue i was there before and it's actually very very good i will try to catch some uh, videos of the food and then afterwards we will go to the famous dragon bridge here in dana and before this we will probably visit the night market that is located next to it and yeah this dragon bridge is a huge attraction here it spits fire and water so i'm really interested in seeing this Okay guys, quick room tour. Actually, it's really a room tour because in the hotel I have one room only, of course. Here's my window. I explained this before. It's it's a very beautiful view. I see the most beautiful wall that you've ever seen in your life, probably. Then there is like a little sitting area here. Let me switch to the front camera. So you can see here, there's a bed, of course. Then next to the bed, there is um, the... Um, like this uh, water area. Don't even know how this is called. Uh, that's me. Hello, hello. And then here I got some stuff, some water to drink. Always stay hydrated, guys. And there is already the bathroom. It's next to the bed. And yeah, you can just walk into it. There is uh, the shower directly 
uh, like next to the toilet and everything. And it's actually funny. I think in, in Vietnam, it's a common thing that the toilet is directly next to the bed. There's actually a just a window glass um, covering the, the toilet. So whoever is um, chilling there on the toilet, doing his or her thing uh, will be viewed by the rest of the people in the room. But um, yeah, as, as far as I know, it's pretty common like this in uh, Vietnam. So yeah, this is also in my room. But since I'm staying in the room alone, it's not a big of an issue. And then yeah, this is the other view like from the bed. This is the bed. And then we have this like small sitting area there. There's a TV that I don't use, of course. Then there's the counter um, where I just put all of my stuff, see some uh, like the electronic stuff here. Uh, all of my clothes are pretty much here in this area. And then there are some, um, yeah, some stuff if I want to use the spa, but yeah, I don't really use these. And then there is of course an entry door and there's another mirror. So we can have a look at this and that's me again. So yeah, that's the room. So room is of course a lot smaller compared to the apartment that I had in Thailand, but it's a little bit more modern, I would say. And especially since I'm staying in the hotel, I don't really need a big room, I think, because here I also have like the gym, the pool on top, the restaurant. So I do not really live inside of this room a lot. I'm pretty much just here to sleep. And then during the day, I'm walking around in the city, yeah, meeting people, just enjoy the, the, the good weather. But I think in hotel rooms, you pretty much just sleep, right? quick sunset run somewhere over there's the sun and it's always a good idea before you go to a buffet to burn to burn some some calories and I think I'm well prepared I'm like 7k in and I have to go somewhere over there back so it will be like 14 k in total see you back at the hotel Yo, just came back from the run, back in the apartment. It uh, was a long but easy run, I would say, because it was my second sports session today. I did a little workout in the morning here in the hotel. And I try to do at least one workout a day, but usually I have at least one workout a day. And I try to like get to my previous running level, trying to push the kilometers again to like 80 or more kilometers per week. So I have a good uh, training load and I can really improve here. I'm slowly but steadily getting there. now. After showering, getting fresh, I'm now ready to go to the restroom. We'll meet Johannes there and his girlfriend Susie. You know them already from the previous vlog. And then there will be another guy that I met in a restaurant or a cafe today. So we will be a really cool group. And I will try to film some of the food, of course, for you guys. So you have a, a good understanding of how you can eat here in Vietnam. I mean, this is a pretty bad example, obviously, because it's a Brazilian barbecue. But the food is so good. Literally, I've been there before alone. I had dinner with myself, a little bit lonely, but it is so good. So I recommended it to these guys and I hope that I will not disappoint them. So you will see the food in a second afterwards we plan to go to the night market again and then see the famous dragon bridge here in Da Nang which seems to spit fire and water so definitely watch this one
to give you the final update. I'm already in my bed. But yeah, we've been to the fire show at this bridge. It was not that spectacular, I think. Also ate too much at the buffet as usual because I cannot really control myself. Um, but yeah, that's it for the day. So this is like one day in Da Nang. In these vlogs, I try to like not only do some extravagant stuff or cut together multiple days. I just want to show like how a normal day here is. And yeah, I hope that you can get a good feeling. So this is how a life of a automated trader slash programmer can look like in uh, Da Nang, Vietnam. And that's it. So yeah, I will sleep now. Guys, good night.